or the aerobic digester. Um, so the bugs that we're wasting from the activated sludge process up here, we waste about 40,000 gallons of sludge each day from the activated sludge because we're bringing in new food for those bugs every day. But as part of that, those bugs are reproducing and you have to get rid of some. So we send about 40,000 gallons a day of sludge to this tank. It comes in here at about a half a percent solids. It goes into this center tank, so at 40,000 gallons, it comes in at a half percent and take it out at 2%. Just by letting the heavy stuff settle to the bottom, the clear water come to the top, we send the clear water back through the process for treatment. The heavy stuff we pump over the wall into the outer rings here, which we'll go in here shortly, are the anaerobic digesters. It's in there being digested for about a three week period. That is reducing the volume of sludge by about 40, or from 100% to about 60%, so 40% reduction in solids. It also stabilizes that solids, so it can then be land applied to the fields. The gravity the thickener, half a percent coming in, 2% going out. When it's 2%, we pump it from here with pumps in the basement there into this tank. It basically slowly digests. So if you imagine your stomach kind of digesting food, these tanks are doing the same thing with the solids that we're feeding it. In this little tank here, it's actually the filtrate coming off of the disc thickener, which is in the building next door that we'll see next. That is the quote unquote clear water coming off of that. But we take this, aerate it to control the amount of ammonia in it, and then send it back for processing at the plant. This will be really high in ammonia. So if you were to get down a little too close, it would smell like cat food. 